Okay, so really quickly I'm going to show you how to get a bleach bypass look on your film without using Adobe After Effects. So if you've got Final Cut Studio, you know you have a program called Color. It's pretty intimidating. I am still intimidated by it. Anyway, I have imported my timeline from Final Cut. I went File, Send to, Color, Create a Color Project. Here's my shot list here. These are my different shots I have. I'm going to choose a short one for the sake of being able to render it quickly. Okay, now here it is. Now we can adjust things. You can go to your primary and you can change your shadow hue. You can change your midtones and your highlights just like that. You can adjust the sliders. Click in there, scroll up and down. Make your shadows lighter, darker, all kinds of things. But that is not what I want to do right now. Right now, what I want to show you how to do is, and for some reason, that reset button isn't working. Let's put these all back to the center myself then. I don't know why. We want to go to color effects and all we got to do is grab this bleach bypass filter right here. We'll start with black and white first, show you what it looks like. Drag it here, it's a node interface. Bam, like that, you have black and white. Delete that node, apply bleach bypass, and you had the bleach bypass look. Now, you can also put black and white out here, attach it to the source. So you can bleach bypass a black and white. It's really pretty interesting. And then you click on the black and white node, you see just what the output looks like in black and white. Click on bleach bypass, now you see bleach bypass and what's before it, which is black and white. Click on the output, you see what you're going to see. You can add curves if you want. With the curves, we just pull the bleach bypass to there, then the curves, the output. Click on the output, click on the curves. Now you have your curves thing over here, and you can add a little bit of dimension if you want, just like that using curve, which is always fun. All right, and now you click on black and white. That's what the original looks like with black and white. Click on bleach bypass, that's black and white and bleach bypass. Click on curves, now you see the what you got so far. Click on output, you see the final. Okay, now to say this is what you want for this clip right here. Go to the render queue. Okay, you add unrendered. Uh, we'll delete the ones we don't need, which would be clips one and three. Here's clip two. We start render. It's going to render them out. You can see the progress bar up here. You can see the lifetime playback over here. Let it continue to do that. And we are now done. 